practice, we've been doing ultraviolet blood therapy in combination with ozone therapy. And it has been very impressive in treating infections, inflammation, liver problems. Um, and what it is, is it's utilizing ozone at a whole different level with photoluminescence. So we take um, blood from a patient, mix it with heparin. Uh, it varies in the amount of blood we take depending on the size of the animal. And we'll take that sample, we'll mix it with something called biocean, which is all the trace minerals um, from the bottom of the ocean so it enhances the, the cells that we're working on. Mix that with ozonated saline. Um, and then add our blood to it and you can see the huge change in color of the blood because as it gets oxygenated by the O3 and the ozone, you can see the life come back into that blood sample. Then we take that and we run it through a machine that will put uh, two types of light, light uh, ultraviolet light through it in a way that sort of activates the cells and also will kill some of the abnormal cells that don't like light and oxygen therapy, which are typically viruses and, and, and uh, bacteria in the blood that are not um, something that the, the normal healthy human would want in high numbers in their blood. So by giving it with ozone, some of the, the oxygen and ozone that's in that sample will, will weaken the cells that don't uh, want to be in oxygen and then the UV will be there to sort of stimulate the healthy cells and continue to kill the ones that are abnormal. And then we reintroduce that back into the dog with a little butterfly catheter um, and give it to the dog slowly um, and into the vein and, um, and allow the, the, the blood to circulate through the whole immune system. After that we'll often give them more ozone um, to get the oxygen level even higher. So it's been very promising very positive. Uh, it's done a lot in around the country and around the world in other uh, in humans, but not in veterinary medicine. So I have one of the first machines that has come out. Now they're coming out with more machines, and they're being able to utilize it in a lot of different other ways too, as well. But it's very positive. It's sort of ozone was always my the one thing that I would do to get oxygen level up. Now the UVB is like another notch up, and so I like to have that as an as a opportunity to increase the immune system, and it's wonderful for allergies, for infections, for uh, inflammation, for pain, for Lyme disease, um, which is extremely positive. So these animals that are having cancer, um, we're doing it in tandem with conventional medicine, and they seem to not get the nausea and the inflammation after the chemo. Um, so my preference is to get these animals before they get cancer so that we can get their immune system stronger so they don't get cancer but in, in, in support of their liver and kidneys and everything else the UVB has been actually a wonderful adjunct.